Hi, I'm Stefan, the BMW DIY guy. And do you want to protect that giant new touchscreen and all of the brand new BMWs? I'm going to show you how. All right, y'all, so let's talk about this project a little bit before we do it and the reasons why you might want to do the same. Now, obviously, I've got my brand new G87 M2, which I absolutely adore. I love this car. And I actually really like that brand new display, that big wide screen that a bunch of the brand new G series models have. Well, one thing that I was worried about was protecting the screen. So I started looking around on what I could do to one, potentially cut down glare in, in really sunny circumstances, but also protect that very expensive screen, right? I don't want it to get scratched. I don't want anything happening to it. So I checked out and I found Studi AG. This is the only product out there that I've found that actually puts a protective film over the top of the display. And to me, it just absolutely makes sense. So I wanna walk you through how to do this install in your car because this really is all of them. This could be the new XM, the new iX, the new 5 Series, 3 Series. All of them have these giant displays, including the new M2. So let's jump into the car and I'm gonna show you how you install this. All right, y'all, so one of the very first things you, we wanna do, and you wanna be very meticulous when you do this, is you wanna clean your screen. Now, any lint, any uh, smudges, anything like that are gonna create problems when you put the new film on. Now, uh, the kit itself comes with, with this little cloth that is really good because it won't leave lint behind. Um, I always keep a mi microfiber towel in my car, but I also find it's very linty. <laughs> so, make sure that you use a cloth in their kit here. And I'm, I'm gonna be very thorough about this. I wanna make sure that this screen has absolutely no marks in any way, shape or form, no lint or anything before we get started. Now, when I hold up the film here in just a second, you'll see in this case, it goes all the way across the entire display. It's a really big film protector. So make sure that everything about this is as clean as it can be. Be very, very meticulous about this stage. Okay, so that cloth, use their cloth. In addition, there's this little lint remover sticker, right, that you can use. And this is a great way to just come after this. And I'm gonna hit it again with the cloth here in a second to make sure that this didn't leave anything behind. But this is also a great way of just sticking, kind of like a, kind of like a clothes roller, <laughs> right? Kind of like a lint roller. I'm gonna make sure that there's no lint at all and it's two-sided. So I'm just gonna use one side right now but this is also another way to make sure that there's no dust, no anything else on the screen. All right, so here we just hit it again. Make sure that it's nice and clean. And at any point where I feel like I've touched the screen with a you know bare hand or anything as I'm doing this, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna clean it. Okay, so that should be pretty good. Now, here on my two series, let me grab, let me grab the film here. As you can see, it's one big piece all the way across. This is not a, a small job to do as you put this on. It really does cover the whole thing as you can see, which is, which is great. Okay, so let me get this set up and ready to go and I'm gonna show you how we start installing the film. All right, so let's take a look at the film itself here for a second. As you can tell, it is, it's gonna go the entire screen all the way across. And then as you think about applying this, so there's this protectant film on one side and there's the other side of the film, right, that, that obviously I'm getting my fingers on. Any side that you get your fingers on, you want to be the out side, not the inside. Because the inside, would, if you scuff it on this side, that's going to be up against your display and not something you can wipe clean. Where this side is going to be facing outward, so you, you can use a cloth and, and wipe it off, right? So it's the exposed side as you peel this back that you want to be very, very careful and not get any, any, hair, any hair or dust or, or any finger marks on, right? Now, also when you look at this, this, the, the cover here has little notches in it. Like for example, you can see right here in the middle, right? And you can peel off one side. Now I'm gonna get set up properly for this with these little notches. Cause what we wanna do, and let's talk through it before we do it, okay? So the film side is on the back side right now because that's the side that's gonna be going down on the screen. So when we peel off the corner of the film, we're gonna take it, we're gonna line it up very, very carefully in the corner and along the top edge, because this, these are how we wanna get this all set, right? And we're not gonna peel the whole thing because that would, that would make it very difficult to work with. So we're gonna peel off one corner very, very carefully and use that to tack the edge. 
So you get this edge tacked down and you get it all lined up really, really nicely. And you make sure that you've got this and you use the, the 90 degree angle here to make sure that the film is on straight. So it's straight across the top and mine isn't completely straight right now, but you know, it's better now. But as you look at this, you can see as we go through this, how this all lines up all the way across. And you wanna use one corner to kind of tack the edge. Then you can peel it back a little bit more and press in the center to hold it, right? And then what you can also then do is move to the other side and get back a, a corner on that side and make sure it's on straight. Because the way this film is laid out, if one corner is, is square, square down the edges, square across the top, the other corner is square down the edges and across the top, then the whole film is going to be straight, okay? So let me peel back one corner and then I'm gonna show you kind of tacking down one edge. Now, I'm going to say it probably several times, <laughs> but as you peel this down, as you, if you get air bubbles or you get anything in this, you're going to want to use the cloth that they provided or this little squeegee that they, they provided to very carefully work those bubbles out, right? You'd slowly work those bubbles out towards the edges because what you want to do is have a nice smooth surface without any... any uh, folds or any any ripples or any bubbles as you go through okay so let me get this corner set and i'm going to show you what that looks like all right y'all so here we go so i've got this corner off i'm going to take it very carefully and set it up into this corner of the display make sure that, and i'm pushing on the film a little bit to get it to set into that corner because i want it to lay down very very smoothly and evenly all the way across Oh, see, it, it moved on me. And this is why I'm doing it kind of real time for you guys a little bit. So you can see what this looks like as we do it, right? So I'm going to set this down into that corner right there. Very carefully like that. And very carefully across the top. So that, that appears to be straight across the top. Okay, but then as I look down here towards the bottom, I feel like I've missed on the bottom here just a little bit. So this is where you can adjust. So I'm going to set up and I'm going to set up again, right? Because what I want is nice, clean, and even all the way across. So I'm going to come again, set up, make sure this top edge is good to go. Just be patient as you do this, right? Because the last thing you want to do is mess this up. So I'm kind of using this as that back edge to drag it into place. I'm going to sit and drag just like that pretty darn close i've got a little bit further that i need to go as we go but i'm just going to take and adjust just a little bit and adjust it just a little bit too far <laughs> so as you guys can see this is really meticulous you just have to be careful with it this isn't hard it's just a matter of just getting it on getting it on straight Okay, so let's come back to this edge here. So we get this to lay down really nicely. What I don't want to do is get any lint or fingerprints on the back side of this. That would be bad. Okay, so there we go. That's not bad. That's looking pretty darn good up in that corner, right along that edge right there. So I can tell I'm not straight because this bottom corner is off a little bit. So I'm just going to pull just a little, which means my right angle isn't quite a right angle. Just like that. There we go. That looks good. It's square along the top edge. It's square down this edge. Now you probably won't be able to see it on the screen, but I actually do see a few little bubbles as we go. So this is where I'm gonna want to work those bubbles out and make sure that there aren't any bubbles in it as I move forward. So I see one right here. I'm gonna take that. I'm just gonna work it really gently down. I'm gonna work all of those bubbles out as we go. Yeah, not bad. Now they're starting to come out. I like it. Yeah, the bubbles will push a little bit I'm sure you probably can't see because the way the screen is black right now, but you're just kind of working those bubbles out 
and working away away across the plastic. Okay, so now, now that the film on this side is good, I'm gonna pull the corner on this side and make sure that it goes on really nice and straight, which it already looks pretty good over on this other corner right here. So I'm gonna peel the rest of, I'm gonna put, peel the film on this corner and get it to lay down cleanly. All right, guys, I wanna show you one little trick as we're going through this, and this is where your little, uh, your little wedge here, and in addition, your dust sticker works really well. So I've got my big shop light kind of at an oblique angle where I can see bubbles in the film because as I came across and I'm using, I'm using this tool to slowly ease it down, I actually missed some here and there. Now the little ones, if you just very gently work at them, you can get the little ones out. They'll, they'll, they'll just kind of work their way out. The big ones, you can slowly gently work out towards the edges and push them out as well. In addition, using my light like this, I found I had a little dust speck right here and you could see it because as I pushed at it, there was a little teeny tiny bubble that wouldn't go away and you could see a little teeny tiny white speck on the inside of it. So I very carefully peeled this edge back and I used my dust sticker against that back edge. Because I, what I think what happened is, is that as I was dragging this back into place, I picked up some dust here off the dash and got a little bit of dust on the back side. So I was able to use the dust sticker to pull off a little bit of kind of dust motes on the back side there, okay? So now with my light, now I don't have the other side of, of the film on yet, but this side looks really, really good. It's square all the way across. The, all the edges are down really well. And using my light, I, can, I don't see any more bubbles. So I can slowly work my way across. I'm doing the same thing here. I've got the back half of the film half peeled off, and then I'm just using this edge to just help push this edge down as I go, and it helps eliminate any bubbles as it goes across as well. Okay, so slowly peel it off. You can secure on the back on the other corner, as I mentioned, and then you can just slowly work any bubbles out. Be patient, take your time. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done, but it really is pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Catch up here a little bit and kind of show you some tips and tricks as I've been going through. So like I mentioned a second ago, I got this edge all aligned. I peeled it back enough to get this far edge all aligned and set. And then it's a bit matter of just kind of getting it all straight and working the bubbles out. So I've got a big light out um, and then I've got my small one as well. So I can go through and get it here behind the steering wheel. And I definitely see some bubbles here still. And so I just kind of gently work them towards an edge. Like I said, the small ones will, will self adhere down as you work at them. Though I do find a certain amount of irony that the card that they provided to help work out the bubbles is essentially cardboard with a little bit of a grip on it. This is super linty. <laughs> so as you worry about lint and, and getting this down cleanly, that this little cardboard wedge that they give you to get the bubbles out is really, really linty. So um, I know you probably can't see any of the bubbles in the display right now, and, and you really need to have a flashlight so you can just kind of look at them and work them out. I see lots of little ones. It kind of looks like the Dalmatian over here on the side. As I just slowly work those out towards the edges because those bubbles will be even more apparent in the sunlight. The smallest ones will just work out. The bigger ones you have to work out towards the edge. And you can definitely see them as I'm, as I'm just slowly working them all out towards the edge here. I'm almost done. I just have a couple of little uh, bubbles left on this side. Well, there's one big one right there. So I'm gonna work this one all the way out towards that edge. You can see it kind of ooze its way out like that. And uh, I've got lint under it right there for sure. I can see on this side, you're not gonna be able to see it on camera, but there's a little, you can see just a little teeny tiny white spot right there and a bubble that won't go away because the lint spot itself is holding up the bubble, right? So I'm gonna to continue to work my way around. So on this corner, I'm gonna very carefully peel back this corner. I'm gonna use my, my lint sticker again to pull that little bit of lint off. And then I'm just gonna go through the whole film here with a flashlight really closely. So this side is all down completely. It looks kind of ugly right now with lots of lint on it and fingerprint smudges and all the rest as I did the work here, but yeah, that's it. There, there aren't any bubbles left with the exception of that one little lint bubble right there, which is gonna drive me crazy. So I'm gonna make sure to get it. Now, the one thing I've also kind of learned tips and tricks as we go through here, you know, our little, our, uh, you know, our wedge is so linty that I, I've got lint all over the surface now here too, which is fine unless you're peeling it back, right? 
So I'm gonna take this, let me put my flashlight down here for a second. And then I'm going to very carefully take, take the remainder of my lint roll, lint pad here, peel this corner back to get this little teeny tiny little bit of lint out and then any subsequent bubbles that I have um, and then we're going to be good. I'll wipe it all down. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done, but I'm glad to have this on my screen to help clean, to uh, help keep it clean uh, and help protect it. All right, guys, all done. So I went and grabbed one of my other, one of my other rags that's a little bit less linty to help get the last little bits of this off. If you do find any little last minute bubbles, and I, and I, took, a, I took my flashlight and really just walked through just inch by inch by inch by inch through the whole thing just to make sure that there weren't any bubbles because right when I think that I'd gotten them all, I'd find another one or two. And now is the time to get those off to make sure that you don't have any leftover bubbles in, in it. Um, one, as the film is down longer, it might be harder to get those bubbles out later. But then also, when you're driving, it's gonna, it's gonna drive you crazy. At least it would me. This is very similar to putting a protective film on your phone, just a lot bigger, okay? So, all done, so go ahead and wrap up, clean up, put your tools away. All right, y'all, all done. And, you, and as you can tell, this isn't a hard project and we'll, it won't take you more than just a few minutes to get it done. It's really just about being very meticulous and careful as you put that film on to actually make sure you don't have any lint or any bubbles or anything else like that. You might also want to wipe down the dash and everything on your car first to try to take down any lint, but also be careful when you do that because if you have a lot of lint in the air, <laughs> you could be picking it up, okay? So just be very careful and meticulous as you do this work. So I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Now remember, everything that you need will be listed in the video description below, including the link to this particular product. And this will work on almost all BMWs with the new big screens. Please make sure to click like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference to my channel and I would truly appreciate it. And please make sure to check out the new membership options as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you on my next project.